Welcome back to Pinero's Mind, people. Now, we've got to talk about this. We've got to talk about this Alex Jones trial and what it really means for the people. Now, Alex Jones used to run a, a YouTube channel by the name of InfoWars. I think they got... I'm not, I don't think they got knocked off the net, basically. Um, he's been going through quite a lot, quite a lot, Alex Jones, in the last five years, I'm telling you. Um, even his own wife turned against him, people. And, you know, some of the people that was working with him before, they end up turning against him. Now, Alex Jones, you know, they call him a conspiracy theorist, right? The word that I just cannot stand, you know, they should really have called it reality theorist. I don't think it was someone that was into knowledge that, that actually named it conspiracy theorist. And I, I really do not believe that because they, uh, they would not have named it that, period. A conspiracy no, but most of the conspiracy theorists believe this is what it is. I'm not saying I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Like I wouldn't. I, I'm just into higher, higher, higher knowledge. You know, I'm not really a conspiracy theorist. I don't like to call myself that. As I actually hate that name anyway. So, but Alex Jones, you know, he's been doing this thing for a long time. People now, there was a lot of people back in the day that used to believe that he was a, a plant. Hmm. Do you, do the people still feel that way? You know, leave your comments below if you was one of those people that thought that Alex Jones was, you know, a plant. Um, yeah, I'd like to know what you lot think now because I've heard all different types of things. Yeah, I've all different types of things, but when you see the things that he's been carrying through, hmm, I don't know, but, you know, we've seen people that on, on their side up in court before and them things there, so who knows, you know, but let's just see for what it is right now, so he spoke up on this um, massacre, he upset a lot of people, you know, he was saying that the massacre that happened was um, basically uh, staged, you know, like, you know, it was planned, it was blueprinted out, it was staged. Um, now, I haven't actually seen this footage of him saying that. But that's what everybody's saying, so be sure to check that out. They're saying that he's, he's saying that he's staged, right? So, but in what way though, people? You know what I mean? In a thing of where the shooter or the whole thing? Because um, I'm sure people did die, right? But there's a lot of people that think different things. But anyway, so he might have used what people call freedom of speech which i don't know if you've checked the records doesn't really exist anymore people you know what i mean it doesn't really exist in this day and time that we're living in because people are, are really sensitive very sensitive people be snitching on thing people for, for anything these days especially when it comes to this youtube thing this flagging stuff that people do, um, you know, it, it, it's um, it's out of control. It's out of control, people. Alex Jones has been talking some good stuff in the past. You know, he spoke on this massacre. Is is it right that he gets condemned? for either getting something wrong or even speaking on the situation. He's got to pay Sandy Hook 4.1 mil. You know, apparently he's upset all the family members that lost people in this massacre. Now, I heard they're unhappy about a few things. One of the main things you know, because everything comes down to money, people. They're not happy with the fact that he's spreading this type of news, but he's getting paid from it. And that actually come up in the case, people, that the fact that he's getting paid from it. So what would have happened if he didn't get paid from it? Would it be taking it to these lengths? Sounds like, to me, that someone is after his money. Now, I don't know how much money... Alex Jones has and I'm not really interested in how much money 
at its jaw and stuff. Yeah, we live in a time right now where people are interested in people's bank accounts. But I'm not interested. But I know that he was on the internet for a long time. Not only that, he had a lot of different things to sell. You know, he had the water. Um, he had the water, the, you know, the, the, the water tins that were silver, you know, the fresh, I can't remember the name of it, aqua or something. Um, different other merch he has, he used to do with a lot of seeds and all different types of survival type stuff from way back. So I don't know, but 4.1 mil for doing the same thing that the govs do. See, it's hard to talk on these things, especially when you're mentioning this guy's name, because this guy's name now has been absolutely smashed people on the thing of like, people that are talking knowledge and putting things out, we have to really look at this case and see where they're really taking, because it seems like to me they're making a an example of him, right? They're making an example of him. But to make an example of someone that has been doing this for so long and, and has a big name, is a very serious thing. It's a very serious thing, and we have to look where, where are they gonna take where are they looking to take this? You know, like it are they gonna take this further now like after this trial was completely finished. I'm not sure if it is people, but um they're going to are they going to make things harder for people to have freedom of speech? Because it's already hardened, you know what I mean? It's already been done, it's all They've already attacked the freedom of speech. So what level is this going to go to now when it comes to social media? Is there going to be an attack on conspiracy theorists on social media? Uh, people that like to do higher knowledge, is there going to be attack on people that put out these things? Have they had enough of the amount of knowledge that have been bombarding the internet? Yeah, and, and this is this is a a weapon, a weaponized attack against it. First strike. Are we going to see more of this? Because at the end of the day, people, it's one man. Or oh, this might even go a different route. This is one man talking. And I'm sorry for all the families, you know, if if it was real or if it was staged or whatever, I'm going to say sorry to the families that lost their life because you know, they lost their children's lives because it? it's, it's crazy. But what is really going to come of this? So imagine there's a group of people now in a certain place talking certain things or on the streets, right? Are they going to be arrested? They put out the internet, people use it in the way they want to use it, but there's a lot of knowledge and a lot of people waking up. And I think now from this Alex Jones situation, I can see this is the start of a clamp down on certain things, which I already knew was going to happen. And I'll put that video out. Um, but they will be coming for certain men at certain points in time. And we have to be ready. Now, Alex Jones went through a little situation in one of his cases now, when he was at the courts. They asked for certain messages and things of that nature. He said he didn't have the messages. This is spooky, listen to what I'm saying now. He didn't have the messages. A solicitor, or shall I say lawyer in America, we say solicitor in the UK, his lawyer accidentally sent all the messages to the other team for the last two years from his phone. Even all of his private messages, he sent him the whole he wasn't even supposed to do that. His own lawyer, and I have to understand people, this is how deep this stuff gets. 
who even knows what sort of that that conversation must have been a bit when Alex Strong conversation with his lawyer that must have been a funky I would love to have heard that be like a fly on the wall and heard that conversation how did you you expose your own client these people work arm in arms together just like in the UK them duty solicitors work with the feds it is what it is they work with the feds that's why you don't be beating them cases. You have to pay. I know people that have paid money and they end up beating cases that you man with your duty solicitors, no disrespect. You know, not everyone can afford certain things. But if you're living a life of crime, don't you think you should back yourself up? And if you've been living a life of crime for over 10, 20 years and you can't afford to back yourself up, don't you think you should change your job? Don't stack boxes, man. You're pretty... That's what I'm saying, people. This is how I set up. This is how I set up for the people, man. And who knows what's going to come with this, people. And I'm going to keep watching and see what happens. Um, Four million... But the same thing happened to that, what's her name, Tasha. Tasha K when she was exposing Cardi B. And she had to pay up some millions too. So that must be kind of crazy even. Even being a content creator and doing videos after that must be very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. But anyway, I think I rambled enough. Alex Jones was a guy that opened my eyes up to a lot of things in my younger younger years of knowledge. Many things that you see now, many things that you see now, he was talking about this 15 years ago. Because there was a point where I, I used to watch David Icke and them thing there. And it was getting a bit funny, so I sort of like started listening to it. Alex, because he started talking about up-to-date things. Not just about the moon matrix and all type of things. But anyone's entitled to their own opinion. Leave some comments below if you even know who, who the hell Alex Jones is. Yeah, but this is something that the knowledge people them on the internet should be following this. Especially if you, if you like I keep telling you, especially if you've got a YouTube channel and this is your main source of income and you feed your family with it. You know, you'd be crazy to leave that, to have YouTube as your main income. Uh, unless you've got enough stacked up in the bank, that is, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, people, there's a little something I wanted to talk about since, you know, I used to listen to, watch a little bit of Alice Jones, a lot of Alice Jones back in the day. And this case just looks about the way the solicitor, his own lawyer, I keep saying solicitor, his own lawyer sent, that, that was crazy. That, uh, he don't, and, and, and he looked, and he, you've never really seen Alex Jones look so uncomfortable and out of pocket, man, when he was talking. Because he didn't, he had no answers to even combat that. But anyway, like, share, subscribe, people. Peace. <music>